Okay, so I am gonna do another story and this is called The Big Rag by Dr. Seuss. The rabbit felt mighty important that day on top of the hill in the sun where he lay. He felt so important up there on that hill that he started in bragging as animals will. He boasted out loud as he threw out his chest. Of all of the beasts in the world, I'm the best upon land, upon sea, even up in the sky. No animal lives who is better than I. What's that? said a voice that was terribly gruff. Now, why do you say such ridiculous stuff? I'm the best of the beasts, said the bear, and so there. You're not. I'm a better than you. Poo, the bear snorted. Again, I say poo. You, you talk mighty big, Mr. Rabbit, that's true. But how can you prove it? Just what can you do? Hmm, hmm said the rabbit. Hmm. Now what can I do? <laughs> he thought and he thought and then finally he said, and Mr. Bear, do you see these two ears on my head? My ears are so sharp and so keen and so fine. No ears in the world can hear further than mine. Huh, said the bear. He looked at each ear. Hmm. You say they are good, said the bear with a sneer, but how do I know just how far they can hear? I approve, said the rabbit. I'll prove it by test. You just sit there and watch me. I will prove it by test. Then he stuck his big ears till they both stood up high and they pointed straight up to the blue of the sky. Shh, I'm listening, he said as he stood. He listened so hard that he started to sweat and the fur on his ears and his forehead got wet. For seven long minutes he stood, then he stirred, then he said to the bear, you know what I heard? Do you see that mountain? It is 90 miles off. There is a fly on that mountain. I just heard him cough. <laughs> now, the cough of a fly, sir, is quite hard to hear when he's 90 miles off, but I heard it quite clear. So you see, said the rabbit, it's perfectly true. My ears are the best, so I'm uh, better than you. Hmm, said the bear. He just kind of sulked as he sat, because he knew his ears couldn't hear things like that. This rabbit has made a fool out of me. Now i got to prove that I'm better than he is. Uh, you, uh, you hear pretty well. You can hear 90 miles, hmm? But how far can you smell? I'm the greatest of smellers. See my nose? This nose on my face is the finest that grows. With my nose, I can smell anything a little far near. With, with my nose, I can smell twice as far as you hear. You can't, snapped the rabbit. I can, growled the bear and he stuck his big nose way up high in the air and he wiggled that nose and he whiffed and he walked and he waggled that nose and he sniffed and he snuffed for more than 10 minutes he snapped and he snuffed. Then he said to the rabbit, I've smelled far enough. All right, said the rabbit. Tell me, just how far was the smell that you smelled? Oh, 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 oh. I'm, I'm smelling a, a very far smell. Oh, oh, way, way past the fly on that mountain out there. I'm smelling past many great mountains beyond. 600 miles more and way, way out there by a pond you can't see is a very small farm. On the farm is a tree. On the tree is a branch. 
on the branches and nest, a very, a very small nest where two tiny eggs raised, two hummingbird eggs. And, and my nose <laughs> was so good that I smelled without fail <laughs> that the egg on the left was a little bit stale. And that's something that no rabbit can do. <laughs> So you see, said the bear, I'm better than you. <laughs> My nose is so good it just can't be beat. What's that? Said a voice from way down by their feet. And the bear and the rabbit looked down at the sound and they saw an old worm crawling out of the ground. Now boys, you've been bragging a lot. <laughs> You both think you're great, but I think you're not. You're not half as good as a fella like me. You hear and you smell, but how far can you see? <laughs> now, I'm here to prove to you big boasting guys that my nose, excuse me, that your nose and your ears aren't as good as my eyes. Then the little old worm cocked his head to one side and he opened his eyes and he opened them wide and he stared out in space with a strange sort of stare as if he were burning two holes in the air. The eyes of that worm almost popped from his head. He stared half an hour till his eyelids got red. That's enough said the bear. You, you tell a rabbit me how far did you look and now what'd you see? Well, boys, that look that I took was a look that looked further than you'll ever look. I looked across the ocean way out to Japan, for I can see further than anyone can. There's no one on earth who's got a sight that's finer. I looked past Japan, then I looked across China. Looked across Egypt and also Brazil, but I didn't stop there. I looked much further still, and I kept right on looking and looking until I looked clear around the world and right back to this hill. <laughs> and I saw on this hill, since my eyes are so keen, the two biggest fools that had ever been seen. And the fools that I saw were none other than you, who seem to have nothing else better to do than to sit here and argue who's better than who. Then the little old worm gave his head a small jerk, and he climbed in his hole and went back to his work. Okay, <laughs> that's that. All right, that is a big brag. Thank you. And keep coming back for more. I love you guys. Take care. Bye.